Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be expanding on the symbolism that I mentioned in the previous video. So remember, in the previous video, I said about this five representing the fifth age of the Bible, and and when the uh, fifth angel, known as Satan, is supposed to show up on the earth after he's released from his pet. Well. <clears throat> This score, it also represents Russia rising up. Um, Russia have rose up a lot lately, what with the poisoning that happened in Britain and whatnot. And um, also, like, shows like the Americans, um, they showed the symbolism of Russia rising up. Because they rose up in the 1980s during the Cold War. But now uh, it seems they're rising up again. So hopefully this, it, it doesn't lead to another war. Anyway. <clears throat> um, apparently World War Three is prophesied. But I don't think you can fully... Um, take prophecy seriously. So, <clears throat> it says right here, this speech from Pratt Pratt Pratt, meaning Chris Pratt, literally made me cry and worship Jesus. Watch the whole thing now, please. So what Chris Pratt said in his speech, that's symbolism in itself. And the fact that this woman mentioned Jesus, that's also symbolism. So, it says, Chris Pratt gives powerful acceptance speech, God is real. Grace is a gift, and like the freedom that we enjoy in this country, that grace was paid for with somebody else's blood. Do not forget it. So, I mean, you can equate this to Jesus' blood, like when he bled out on the cross. You can also, like, um, equate it to um, the blood of the innocent. Like, even, like, the soldiers that, that died in the various wars. Now, one of our teammates, Alex Langland, um, he was going to use this in one of his videos, but he didn't in the end. So I decided to use it in my video. So, as you can see here, he's mapped out the Revelation 12 eagle, but he's also mapped out Venom. Uh, Venom from Spider-Man. Uh, as, as we all know, the Venom movie is coming out, starring Tom Hardy. And, um, yeah, so Venom represents Satan. He represents a black mist. The black for the time of darkness coming. And who knows, the time of darkness may already be upon us. Um, see the 9-11 symbolism right there? It appears this guy represents Jesus, this woman represents the Rav 12 woman. And then this woman, he represents Michelle Obama, is at the top. So that makes perfect sense because... When um, Obama was president, he was literally at the, at the top of the chain of the elite. Because the president is the most powerful man on the planet. So his wife had almost as much power as he did. So Michelle was right up there at the top, standing beside him. I mean... <clears throat> Even um, going back to these Action Man and He-Man adverts, um, the Money Supermarket commercials. Remember in the last video I said that, that they represent gainers rising up? Well, basically, just look how many views and likes these videos have got. Are you telling me that you like what they're doing to your heroes? Because I, I certainly don't like it. I mean, yeah, it is a bit funny, but 
I've seen funnier things in my life. So going back to this whole thing about Elizabeth Olsen slapping Aubrey Plaza's butt, I mean, if a man did this to Aubrey Plaza, like, he would be accused of, of harassment. So, yeah, why is Elizabeth not being accused of, of, of harassment? It's like, fair play to her. She went in there and she went for it. And it is absolutely hot and awesome and naughty that she's doing this. But, I, I mean, look, I even um, retweeted it and liked it. I mean, see that five again for the fifth age and the fifth angel? So, <clears throat> she is basically an angel. She's an angelic woman. Um, on Hollyoaks last night, it's a soap opera in the UK. And um, basically, there, there, there's a character called Harley in the show. And she said to another character, who, whose name is Perry, she said to her, Oh, you're still no angel. So that could be to do, to do with symbolism as well, because both of those characters probably represent the Rev 12 woman, just like Elizabeth Olsen does. Even Kate Blanchett represents the Rev 12 woman. Um, just like Alicia Vikander does, and just like Jennifer Lawrence does. Now, Alicia Vikander plays Lara Croft, and and um, Jennifer Lawrence plays Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. So, yeah, Lara Croft and Katniss Everdeen represent the Rev 12 woman as well. Um, so... Lara Croft and Katniss Everdeen, they're seen with, with a bow and arrow by a lot. Just like Kate Blanchett has the arrow here, see? Proving, beyond any doubt, that these three actresses represent the same person. The Rev 12 woman. So, you see how Kate Blanchett and Elizabeth Olsen... They represent this woman right here, wearing blue for Jesus. Because Captain America wears blue. So, I know I said in the last video that Aubrey Blauser could represent the Rev 12 woman, but I think it's more likely that she represents Michelle Obama. I mean, Elizabeth Olsen gets away with so much, like showing her boobs, her feet, loads of things. But... You know, because she's a woman, she gets away with more with more than Robbie Williams does. I mean, because Robbie Williams generally um, attracts more controversy. I mean, should we really encourage this sort of behaviour? I mean, it, it's a grey area, really. I mean... I personally think there's nothing wrong with what she's doing here because it's just a bit of fun. But, you know, like when um, Del Boy slapped Marlene's ass in Only Fools and Horses, people made a big deal of out of that. But that was what culture and society was like back in those days when that episode of Only Fools and Horses was made. So, even though um, they made... Well, there's a lot of controversy to do with the James Bond films as well, especially the Sean Connery ones, where he slapped a woman's ass in one of the films. I mean, like, why does Sean Connery get it in the neck just because he's a man? But Elizabeth Olsen doesn't seem to get it in the neck, because she's a woman. Like, like, I don't... Look, I love... Elizabeth Olsen as an actress, but I also love Sean Connery as an actor, so neither of them should get it in the neck. I mean, the only thing Elizabeth Olsen should get it in the neck about is the fact that she said the comic costumes aren't cool. Because they are cool. So, basically... This woman, she's wearing blue for Jesus, remember? Um, just like Elizabeth is there, see? And that 
proves that they represent the same person, the Rapture woman. I mean, Elizabeth appears to be quite blonde. I mean, she might have dyed her hair, but, well, it's just like that woman's blonde there, see? And so is Kate Blanchett. So, remember, Scarlet Witch is on the same side as Captain America. Like, they are both on the side of God, so they are both on the side of Jesus. That is why Captain America wears blue, and that is why Elizabeth Olsen, the Scarlet Witch, is wearing blue hair. Like, remember, um, obviously, I think Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, he's a natural blonde. I, I mean, I might be wrong, but but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Like, I mean, <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether Elizabeth Olsen is a natural blonde or not, because, as I said before, she might have dyed her hair. But the point is, her dyeing her hair blonde is symbolism in itself. Like, if she has done that, that is. Um, but, you know, like, He-Man and Captain America, they represent the same person, Jesus. See, Captain America's blonde is just like He-Man. Action Man represents uh, Jesus as well. So, like, Skeletor and Dr. Rex, they represent Satan. And there's uh, Gal Gadot right there. She represents the Rev-12 woman. Um, and obviously uh, she plays Wonder Woman, who represents the... Sorry, obviously she plays Wonder Woman, who represents the Rev-12 woman. I mean... Star Lord, Chris Pratt, he represents Jesus. Now, he um, disintegrated in Avengers Infinity War, representing um, Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. So, Jesus rose again, so Star Lord will rise again as well. He's not just on the side of Jesus, he represents Jesus. Like, and Chris Pratt is a Christian in himself. He's just not, he's not just on the side of God, he loves God. Like, he even, like, made a point about, about um, how much he loves God in his speech at the MTV Awards. But we've talked a lot about the MTV Awards in the past because they're obviously like a massively symbolic award ceremony. So, <clears throat> like, you could see like all of the uh, all of the Olympus symbolism, like the Greek symbolism and whatnot, and um, even like the Freemason pillars as well. I mean, like, even um, the women shooting arrows in the Wonder Woman movie, they, those women represent the same as Kate Blanchett, the Rav to our woman. And obviously, we all know about the Olympus and Greek symbolism in the, in the Wonder Woman movie. So, Chris Pratt, Jesus, stood with Bryce Dallas Howard, the Rev-12 woman. Even the character that she plays in Jurassic World, Claire, she represents the Rev-12 woman as well. Because she represents just like Claire Redfield out of Resident Evil. 